Hello everyone. In today's video, we will configure Windows 10 operating system in VMware Workstation Pro. In our previous video, we have downloaded and installed VMware Workstation Pro. I will put the link in the description box for your reference. So let's begin with the configuration. The very first, I will open the VMware Workstation from here on my desktop. Once it is open, I will click on create a new virtual machine. Over here it is saying me what type of configuration do you want. I will go with the default one that is a typical. I will, uh, the typical option is selected. I will click next. Uh, select a source for installing the guest operating system. You can use either one of this. So over here if you have won the ISO on a DVD, select the installer disk. Ensure that the Windows 10 installer disk is in the physical CD or DVD drive. Or if you have downloaded the ISO from the uh, ISO from the Microsoft Download Center, select the installer disk image file with extension .iso. Click Browse. Will clicking Browse since I have already downloaded and kept uh, at some place in my laptop, so I will browse that particular location. And uh, in that location, I will be selecting this ISO file. Uh, over here, I have browsed and uh, went to that particular path and I have selected that uh, .iso extension. Additionally, I will be putting the link in the description box from where you can download, download the ISO, whether it is Windows 7, Windows 10, Windows 11, whatever. You can just download it from the Microsoft site. I will be putting the link in the description as well. Just note that VMware Workstation automatically detects the ISO or the disk and select uh, or the disk and selects the easy install option. So over here I have browsed, I have um, chosen that particular ISO file and I will click next. It's asking me for the serial key that is obtained from Microsoft for Windows 10. I don't have as of now. Additionally, it is saying the full name. Uh, we'll say over here the name as Win 10 slash lab password will kept uh, as it is blank. I don't have key, I haven't uh, put the key over here. Simply I have changed the name of the machine and I will click next. It is saying that you did not enter a Windows product key. The window will install without one, but it must be manually activated later. Would you like to continue? I will say yes. Uh, over here, it is asking me for the virtual machine name. So you can give anything, let's say I will give the name as name what I have given as a username win 10 hyphen lab. It is asking me for the location where I need to save this virtual machine. Uh, you can just browse it and uh, define the path wherever you want in C drive, D drive. I will keep it as default and I will proceed further. I will click next. Over here it is asking me what maximum disk size you need. For Windows 10 60 GB would be enough. Additionally, it is giving you two options whether you want to store the virtual disk as a single file or you want to split virtual disk into a multiple file. Let's say if you want to just uh, move the machine from here to another place uh, as it is written over here as well that splitting the disk makes it easier to move the virtual machine to another computer but may reduce performance with very large disk. I will keep the default option that split the virtual disk into multiple files. So, uh, when I select this option instead of one uh, virtual file, I will be getting a mul uh, multiple virtual files. I will click next. Uh, now it has given me the uh, entire description of the machine which will be created. It is saying that the name of the machine is Windows 10 hyphen lab which we have assigned, location which we have selected, version it is saying of the uh, workstation version, operating system is Windows 10, hard disk it is saying 60 GB split. Uh, in the previous uh, uh, window, we have uh, selected option. I will show you uh, this one whether you want to store as a single file or multiple. So that's why it is saying 60 GB split. Memory is 1024, that is a 1 GB RAM. Network adapter is NAT. By default, it is taken the network adapter is NAT. And other options that let, let me customize for you. And I will show you if you need to do any changes how you can. Memory it is 1 GB. If you want to make it 2 GB instead of 1024 MB, it will be. 2048 or even you can just uh, take it from here and make it 2048 2 GB like this. And apart from that processor, it is saying number of processors are uh, two number of cores per processor one. We'll keep it as it is. 
this is a path from where we have uh, browse and chosen dot iso file network adapter for as if now we will keep NAT default as it is other things are USB controller sound card printer display auto detect etc so I will close it now and I will just finish with that with that it is saying it is creating a disk we will wait for some time okay so now it is created and uh, I just miss out there was an option power on creating so that option was selected so it has automatically power on or else it would have asked you to power on So it started with the Windows 10 installation. It will take some time. So the setup has started now. See now it is copying windows file and it will get the files ready for installation. It will install some features and updates. So this process will take some time. So what I will do till the time it is completed. I will be pausing the video so that it doesn't the size of the video doesn't go long. So friends, it's almost about to done. We'll wait for some more time and uh, it will be completed. It has finished the installation part and it is restarting now. We can just click over here and say restart now. It has finished with the initial configuration and the machine is restarting now. Now it's logging in to the device and you can see the Windows 10 lab, the name which we have given during the time of the initial wizard. And finally you are on the home screen of your device. Over here. I would like to inform some of the thing like uh, during the time of initial configuration let me go to the settings things which were taken by default was one of the network adapter that was the NAT it has taken by default the network adapter to be NAT there are multiple other options like the bridge option is the one option NAT option is the one which was taken by default and there is a host only option and the customized virtual network so what are these kinds of uh, different different virtual adapters and all we will be looking uh, definitely into it and we will be going ahead with the, this in the coming videos 
so my friends in the next video we will configure the vmware networking using the different virtual adapters apart from this there are some few options which would be really helpful for you now, now let's say for example if you have already created a machine now it's showing you that you have created windows 10 lab if you want to create one more windows machine as you have seen that the this process was quite time consuming if you want to create one more machine in that case definitely you won't be again giving so much time so simply what you have to do is you will right click over here and you will just you will be cloning the machine manage and you will say clone so once you say clone it uh, the operating system of this machine will be automatically cloned and the copy of this machine will be created for you so it is saying you now that you cannot make a clone of a virtual machine or snapshot that is power on or suspended uh, that's right so we will just turn off this machine now from here even you can do it from the normal windows machine how you do uh, before turning off the machine i would like to show about the networking part if you will see you have chosen the network adapter to be nat and uh, thereafter you can see over here it has given you the ip address for this machine and let's try to ping the global dns and see if we can reach the internet uh, it be, sorry it should be ping it dot it dot it dot it and it's pinging which means you are connected to the internet through the NATed network uh, definitely in the next video we will be looking after this what is the NAT uh, adapter what is the bridge network what are the host only network customized network okay so here just I will quickly shut down the machine by going over here I can power off or even I can power off from the machine itself going to the switch over here and I will say shut down so now the machine will be shut down once the machine is powered off uh, straight away i will go over here and going over here i will be going to manage option i will say clone the machine it uh, will run a wizard for the clone for cloning the virtual machine say next current shared in the virtual machine creating a link clone from the current shared will create a new snapshot or you want uh, to create this snapshot yes next now it is giving you two options create a linked clone create a full clone see when you are creating a link clone this machine will be dependent on other machine as it is written a link clone is a reference to the original virtual machine and requires less disk space it will require less disk space but at the same time you want uh, the original machine also should be power on then only this machine will work so for uh, in order to run this much the new clone machine independently you will be selecting this option create a full clone and it is saying that the full clone is a complete copy of the original virtual machine and its current state the virtual machine is fully independent but requires more disk space to store okay click next again it is asking you for the uh, virtual machine name uh, let's keep it as it is and uh, the path also as it is we will say finish once you say finish the clone of the machine is ready for you it is cloning now the time it is cloned i will keep the video pause so friends finally you can see it has uh, done the cloning the cloning is completed successfully uh, successfully sorry close this and you can see uh, you got a new machine uh, with the name clone of windows 10 lab you can power on this machine and as i told you that uh, this machine will be independently created and uh, you can see that our previous machine is turned off but still you can turn on this machine so this the clone of this machine is totally running independently irrespective from which machine it was cloned so now you can see the machine is turning off uh, turning on it's getting ready it's ready now so in short what i can say is this is how uh, the operating system is installed on your vmware workstation pro and the machine is ready now so my friend that's all about the windows 10 operating system installation on the vmware workstation in the next video we will be configuring vmware networking using different virtual adapters if you like my video subscribe to my youtube channel and share with your friends thanks for watching and see you in the next video